Hello everybody, it's Clem and time to tell you about fixing stutters in Escape from Tarkov. Now there can be a lot of reasons as to why your game stutters. However, I'm going to talk about a couple quick general things that I've found in my research that may be the cause of some issues that you're seeing within Tarkov and any other titles you may be playing. Now there's no guarantee that these will perfectly fix your stuttering issues, but if you happen to be on a lower end computer, the solutions I will be providing you should help you reduce the amount of stutters you're seeing in game and improve your overall experience, which is what I aim to do. So without more bullshit, let's get right into the meat of it. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is reducing the amount of background tasks that are running, well, in the background. For starters, I always go into the settings in system and disable storage sense in the storage menu. This is because I clean my computer using CCleaner all the time, so I really don't need Windows to run it, its own separate storage sense program to free up space. If you're an optimization buff, and that sounds really cringy, like me, and you often clean your computer as well, there's no reason to have this on. So disable this and save yourself the random hassle or the random FPS drop that you may be getting once a week whenever this decides to run. Now the second thing that I do is I go back and go into privacy, and then I scroll down to background applications. I disable all of these, and yes, it includes Windows security, all of these get disabled from running in the background. Now, the first thing that you may think when you see this is, while well, disabling all those things running in the background may reduce your system security. And if you do want to keep Windows security running in the background, simply leave this checked and uncheck everything else. Same goes for Xbox, Console Companion, and Game Bar. If you use those very frequently, you can leave those on as well and then disable all the other applications that you see in this list here. One more quick bonus tip for anybody that doesn't want Microsoft to legally steal any information from you is going over to Diagnostic and Feedback, setting this to required and everything else to off. Now, of course, this doesn't stop them from taking all of your data. But this reduces the amount of data that they're going to collect from you. Another major thing that I've seen cause issues within Windows regarding stuttering is the game mode option in the gaming category. This option I have seen a lot of different opinions about. From my own personal testing, I haven't seen any decrease in performance, so I've normally left this on. But if you do have this on by default and you are experiencing stuttering in Tarkov, I'd recommend turning this off and seeing if that improves because I've seen reports from several different websites about games like Warzone and League of Legends, I believe, both having issues with this being on and massive stuttering. So if you have this off, turn it on, try it out. And if you have it on, turn it off and try it out and see what you get. Now that that's all done though, the second thing that we're going to be doing is more orientated to those who have eight or 16 gigabytes of RAM. For those of you who are giga chads like me with 32 gigabytes or higher of RAM, this will likely not be a problem for you unless you're running several different games at the same time on several different monitors. <laughs> that problem I'm talking about is the standby RAM. Now, if I open up my resource monitor here right now and go to the memory tab, there's a section of my RAM called standby RAM. And what this is, is a collection of cache data from either previously used applications or frequently used applications that Windows is keeping within your RAM. Now this reduces the amount of completely free RAM available to your system and can cause stuttering when other applications have to use this memory. However, WJ32.org has a wonderful application called Empty Standby List, which completely cleans this out. To set this to automatically run that program and constantly keep this list small and clean, we're gonna be using Task Scheduler. Before we set up that Task Scheduler though, there's one thing that I forgot to show you guys, don't look at the timestamp in the bottom right, which is setting your empty standby list to run as administrator. And to do that, simply go to the file path that you've set for the empty standby list. So I have it installed right here, I'm going to open that up. And once you're here, right click on the application, go to properties, compatibility, and then check run this program as an administrator and apply and then hit OK. And you're done. Once you have that done, you'll be ready to continue to the next part of the video. Once you boot up Task Scheduler, you'll be likely greeted with this screen. Simply click on Task Scheduler Library. And now that you're here, you'll see a host of different tasks that are automatically running with certain applications, your system, 
or your drivers. What we are here for though is to create an empty standby list task that will automatically run the app from wj32.org and constantly clear out your standby memory. To set this up, make sure you know the file path that you set for the empty standby list download. The link will be in the description. Once you know where the app is located, you can scroll down to the bottom where there's some white space, or you can click on the folder and then hit create task. The first thing you want to do is name it empty standby list. But since this is for the sake of demonstration, I already have mine set up. I'm going to name it something different, say test, just so that I can show this off without it barking at me that I have two of the same task names. The next thing we're going to do is go down to security options and change the user or group listed here. Go to advanced. And then you want to hit find now. We need to change this user to system. So scroll down until you see system. Once you have selected system, hit OK. And then OK again. Now when you do this, it should say NT authority slash system. And when it says that, you're good to go. In several different guides that I've watched regarding this exact topic, they've often said to have this check to run whether the user is logged in or not. The problem is when I have set this up on my own system, I never get this option when I select system. However, I've tested it and it still works. So don't worry about this option. However, make sure you check both run with highest privileges and hidden and then configure it for Windows 10. Next, go to triggers. And in here, we're going to be creating the time loop, I guess you could say that'll constantly run this program at an interval of time you select to clear out your standby memory. So hit new, and then you'll be brought to this screen. Once you're at this screen, make sure this is set to one time, and then check repeat task every five minutes. You can also set this to 10 or 15 minutes if you think five minutes is a little too frequent, but I had mine set to five and it works perfectly. That's your choice though. However, what's not your choice is you need to make sure that this is set to indefinitely so the task doesn't stop running. Also make sure both of these are not checked because if you do have these checked, it will expire at the date or time given. Once these two are unchecked and these two are checked, simply hit OK and the trigger will come up. Next, go to Actions and hit New again. Here we will be selecting I just did in the key to there. We will be selecting the program that we want to run with this, which is the empty standby list. To select it, hit browse and then navigate to where you have the application stored. Once you have the exe file selected, hit open and then hit OK. Now that that's set up, we can now go to conditions. If you are on a laptop, make sure both of these are unchecked. However, if you're on a desktop, these are of no concern to you. Now we can move on to settings. In settings, ensure that stop the task if it runs longer than X is disabled. Once that's disabled, it is fully set up. And now you can hit OK. And now this is ready for you to use. Now, since I set it to repeat every five minutes, I can go to my resource monitor. I almost opened up task manager by mistake. And as you can see, it already just ran. If you want to test to make sure that this is working properly, simply boot up a couple games, close them all down, and then wait whatever time allotment that you set. If you don't want to wait the whole time though, something easy you can do is simply right click on the task. And again, this is totally not me coming to you in the future to let you know you can disable this task by right clicking on it and simply hitting disable and then delete if this causes issues for you. Just FYI, back to the video and hit run and it will automatically run it for you. Keep in mind, this doesn't test the timer though, so you won't know if it's actually doing it every five or so minutes, unless you actually run a five minute test. As you can see, when I hit run there, the standby memory went back down to zero, and now it's slowly building up because I'm using other applications. Besides that though, that's all I have for today. I've been doing a lot of research trying to find ways to reduce VRAM usage for you guys, as I'm having big issues with that as well, but it's been really tough trying to find anything worthwhile. I hope this helps reduce the issues you guys are having with Tarkov right now, and I'm trying my best to find more information for you, so stay tuned. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please do same in the comments below. I love hearing your feedback and replying to you guys and helping you guys out. It makes my day. So, with all that out of the way, make sure you like and subscribe, and for now, I'm clocking out. 
Oh, look, it cleared my standby memory again. <laughs> a later. Hey, hey, Shadow. Yes? Hey, look, look. That's Cap. Oh, okay, I'm gonna shoot. <laughs> <laughs>